Hello, this is Dr. Larry Benz, Emeritus Associate Professor of Science Education at the University of Toronto. In this video, I discuss needs for and the nature of the second phase of the stepwise pedagogy, that is, the teacher teaches phase, highlighted here. If you haven't already done so, review the video in which I give an overview of the stepwise pedagogy, a link to which is provided in the description below this video. I believe that the teacher teaches phase of the stepwise pedagogy involves two basic components, that is, teacher input followed closely by student ap application activities. For teacher input, the teacher uses more direct instructional methods like lecturing with visual aids to teach important attitudes, skills, and knowledge, which we call ask that cannot easily be discovered through students' own inquiries. For student application activities, students get to apply asks they have learned from teacher input. The general principle here is use it or lose it. I believe that the teacher input part of the teacher teaches phase is extremely important, largely for matters of social justice. More specifically, I think teachers should use more direct teaching approaches like lectures with slideshows because of problems with inquiry-based learning that expects students to learn particular predetermined ask. Some possible problems with inquiry-based learning include survival of advantaged students, that is, the smartest, most experienced, and culturally mainstream students tend to discover correct ask from experiences. Just like difficulties some of you might have in seeing what I see in this black and white image. Note, what I see is revealed in the description under the video. idealization of science, that is, because teachers often have to guide or prompt students to get the right answers, students may come to believe, unrealistically, that knowledge development in the sciences is more straightforward than it is in reality. Sanitization of science, that is, because of the media and other mainstream information outlets tend not to discuss problematic aspects of science and technology, students may come to believe it is perfectly ethical and truthful. Finally, disempowerment of students. That is, because of inquiry-based learning activities of the type I am discussing tend to lead to foregone conclusions, students may come to think of themselves as knowledge consumers rather than knowledge producers. Note that I have provided a link in the description below this video to a short article elaborating on some of these claims. For teacher input, a particularly important thing to directly teach students is that things, such as for-profit commodities, are generally not as simple and unproblematic as they might seem. For example, when people see genetically modified salmon, they may conclude that science and technology have provided much more abundant and better food than does nature. From analyses of GM salmon, though, researchers have concluded that GM salmon are part of a more complex network with some problematic entities linked to it, such as sea lice, which often thrive in ocean pens that can harm GM and wild salmon, and government regulations, for example from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, that can keep prices high and limit who, get who gets access to food.
Again, after the teacher has taught important asks, students should have opportunities to apply such asks in new situations, getting teacher help as needed. A very common approach is to engage students in one or more case methods, that is, documentaries of some situation and a set of instructions and questions that get students to interact with the documentary. Instructions and questions could have shown it right include lower through higher order thinking. In the example here, students could be asked to answer some questions and or do some internet searches to learn more about a student's RENA project in which they first did research to learn more about men's clones, making a network map as shown in the representation side, and then as an action developed a socially just and an environmentally sound cologne for men. I hope this introductory video helps you with the following videos about the teacher teaches phase of the stepwise pedagogy. All the best!